Where did I put that sponsor? Oh, there it is. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take a look at another Iron Factory figure. This is Iron Factory IFEX 59, the collector. It's their take on an IDW style legend scale uh, pipes. We knew it was going to come. We knew when we got that really good Huffer. I love that figure. I did a review of it a while back. This one comes to me courtesy of the fine folks at TF Safari. If by the end of this video you want one for yourself, I'll be sure to have a link in the description as well as a discount code where you can save a little bit of money on their already low prices. With that out of the way, let's spin the camera around. Take a look at the little guy. It's Kato. Before we get started looking at the figure, we'll look at the box like we always do. IFEX 59, the collector. Some nice little product shots on the front. Open window. A few little poses here on the side. And on the back, you get alt mode. You can see a little bit of the articulation. Uh, the extra hand sculpts, which we'll go over here in a second. And uh, robot mode inside the box you get the instructions and they're really good um i am gonna go over transformation in this review but the instructions do a really good job of getting that across as well and of course you get multiple hand options that plug in you've got uh open palm you have a nice closed fist for holding a weapon which he doesn't come with a weapon so i probably won't use these that much you get a slightly open palm with a Thumbs up right there. Good grief, these things are small. But uh, yeah, I mean, you get two of each of those. No big deal. Pretty normal for Iron Factory. Uh, they just plug right on. Uh, you do need the closed fists that come on the figure to do the transformation well uh, and not have anything poking out looking weird. Now, moving on to the figure, he is pretty much what you would expect from an IDW style pipes. And he is. Uh, dissimilar enough from Huffer to really feel like you're getting a new bot out of this and not just a painted up Huffer with a few extra parts. He doesn't come with his own weapon, which isn't weird because I've always figured Huffer used these exhaust pieces as weapons anyway, but he looks really good. Let's get a closer look at it. Right away, you recognize that pipes head sculpt with the red kind of visor back there behind that blue helmet. Not a lot of facial features, but it does look like pipes. Dark blue waist, and it's not paint, it's plastic with black uh, vents here on the front of his chest with a little black piece right here and blue and this, uh, I say black, but it's really more like a dark charcoal, uh, an off-white coming down to his legs and thighs. The more of that black plastic and blue plastic here, you've got his Wheels and of course roll blue for the feet coming around. Not a lot of empty spot. Nice screw in the butt, just like your mom likes. And yeah, really cool looking. I think he fits the bill for what pipe should look like, especially a stylized version right from IDW. And backpack. I mean, you're always going to get a backpack with pipes and huffer, but I think this slims up really well. And I dig this dude a lot. Articulation is what you would expect from Iron Factory. It's really good. His head will turn 360. And he can look down a great deal because of that transformation joint. Look up just a bit on that ball joint and some side to side. It's a little obnoxious to maneuver around because of the uh, backpack. But again, it's pretty much what we expect from pipes. Everything is sits on a ball joint. So rotation at the shoulder. You can go in and out. You've got a nice double elbow bend there uh, and uh, the wrist will rotate all the way around with a little bit of motion there of course we have swappable hand sculpts to get that out they'll go up about that far before they run into the shoulder all in all pretty good stuff nice rotation at the waist mine's a bit tight and a bit of ab crunch there because of i say because of a transformation joint but that's not true it actually is genuine ab or uh, yeah ab crunch uh, the legs will go out fairly straight i can get it to line up they'll go out to do the splits come up straight go back about that far until it hits this piece here you've got a nice double knee bend there that looks really good and the ankle is on a ball so you can do about whatever you want there as well as 
a bit of toe articulation thanks to transformation. Uh, you have an upper thigh swivel as well, in case I forgot to mention that. Articulation is fantastic for these little guys. Iron Factory rarely ever misses on that. For a quick comparison, in robot mode, there he is with some various Magic Square and Iron Factory bots. Getting him transformed is fairly simple, but there are a couple of obnoxious pieces here. You want to get the head down out of the way. I've got to straighten up these shoulder pieces here. I tell you, one thing that is annoying is every time I try to do that, to get a grip to move that, this hand pops off of this small ball joint. That is really aggravating. Now, the next thing is kind of aggravating, too. It's this little piece back here is tucked in there, and it's on a nice tight hinge, but you have to swing this out. So, oh, man, can't find my spudger, so I'm going to go off camera. But really, it's easier if you come in from behind back here, poke something through there uh, that won't scratch it to get that to release. I'll be right back. Yeah, so I just put a little something through there to get that to come out. You're going to bring this all the way up. And then there is yet another little piece that's kind of a pain to get to right under here. If I can spin that out this way. Yeah, it's just a little piece that will tab the legs together at the end. Good grief. On a golf camera, you can see it right there. It's that little gray, uh, gray T. All right, I had to do some digging, but I got it. You're just going to bring that out to there. Now bring the head back up. And all of this, this whole piece right here, you're going to swing down like that. Go ahead and rotate the waist around while you have some room to do that. Rotate the arm 180. Now you're going to take this arm and bring it up like that make sure everything is nice and straight there we go bring that up rotate this around and there's a joint to bring this down like that do the same thing to the other arm once you get that done you're going to see a nice tab and slot that you're going to tab both arms into right there coming down to the feet you want to get in here again and I dig in there to release these pieces inside the calf and you just stick those straight out come around to the front or well, the back but the front of the legs you're going to lift these straight up then bring them straight down just like that now you're going to use this lower joint to rotate around this gets a little annoying, but we'll straighten it out at the end. Get that bottom joint to bend. Get that here. You're going to take the toes and tilt just the toe straight up like that. Now, once you get everything here and lined up, you can tab the legs together. And you've got this little piece right here with if i can see it, this dark blue is hard but you can see a nice little post hole right there that you're going to tab the toes into just like that and then start straightening everything up and you are pretty much done i'll clean him up and we'll take a look at it there he is all cleaned up and in his alt mode and i gotta tell you this is really cool huge pain in the ass though is those little hands that always want to pop out i actually lost one of Huffer's hands getting him into alt mode for comparison so it's somewhere in in the carpet here so he's going to look a little weird in comparison but love this alt mode i like the way the cab sneaks back a little bit and gives him this bumper or bull bar this it's very it is very cybertronian but it also looks very uh moon roverish and I dig it. The feet come up here really nice and peg in. Little translucent window here because, you know, you need passengers apparently, but it does look good. The blue, the white looks really good. He rolls like a champ. I dig this alt mode a lot. And it's different enough from Huffer to not just feel like a sloppy little sellout uh, repaint. Very different, actually.
like it a lot. Love the exhaust, how they pop out here on the side. Very cool design. They did a great job with this. Again, for a quick comparison, there he is with some various New Age and Magna Square bots as well as Iron Factory Huffer. So there you have my look at Iron Factory's IFE X59, the collector, aka Pipes. It's their version of IDW Pipes. All in all, pretty good. Some super obnoxious pieces when it comes to getting the uh, flaps out, the front end out from this front side, as well as that extra little uh, post for the feet. And the hand keeps wanting to pop off when you fiddle with it. That's kind of typical for Iron Factory bots. They're small, there's a lot of articulation, the paint is top notch, and cosmetically it is absolutely gorgeous. I can highly recommend this one. Again, I'll have a link in the description below and maybe a pinned comment as well as the coupon code to save a little bit of money on it. All in all, don't miss out on this one if you're an Iron Factory fan. It's really, really fun. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. If you made it this far and haven't subscribed to the channel already, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, share this video out there with your friends. Till next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut.